So what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and sorry I've been gone for so long. Now today we'll be talking about the Viltrox 85mm f1.8, specifically the Mark II. Now if you look at this lens, this thing is beefy and it has a lot of glass in it. And I specifically bought this lens for weddings, but I also use it for my portrait work. And I love the compression of this lens, which is close to a 130mm focal length. Now when it comes to image quality, this thing is amazing. Two thumbs up. With my first wedding, the bride and the groom couldn't face each other. They was actually facing the priest, the father, the officiant the whole time, but it still captured some amazing footage. Now for my second wedding, my SD card corrupted, so I didn't get no footage of the ceremony or the reveal shot with my XC4, but I still caught that angle, which is what you're looking at right now with my XS10, amazing. And I'm pretty sure I shot the groom at f1.8 and I love the way that footage looks. For photography, this lens is amazing as well. Probably even more amazing with the autofocus. I use this lens for detailed shots. I use this lens to get a picture of the um, bride and groom saying their vows to one another. And then get very close while also staying far away where I'm not trying to evade your space. Because at the end of the day, the wedding is really for the bride and the groom. And even though they hired us to capture it, they still want that moment to be special. And it probably won't be so special if we just shoving our lenses in their face. So with this lens, I could comfortably get their expression, get their emotions, while not being too close and personal. If I remember right, the Viltrox 85mm is the first lens that Viltrox made for the Fujifilm X mount. And a lot of people love this lens. They bought this lens over the Fujifilm 90mm F2. I did the same thing. And the reason is because this lens will give you very similar image quality for a fraction or damn near half of the price point. I love this lens so much that I really bought two of them. And the reason is because I'm using my X-T4 to film this now, but this is my main camera for weddings and my X-S10 is my B cam. But for the ceremony, I use both. So I want both my bride and the groom to be on the same focal length. So I end up buying two of them. Image quality is everything to me. And what Viltrox did with their lenses for the X mount is amazing. They did an incredible job because if you never use a Fuji lens, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you're using Fuji or Viltrox. And even if you did, sometimes it's very hard to tell the difference to be honest. Yes, you do have some hints like minimal focus distance, um, chromatic aberration, but if you never shot with a Fujifilm lens or you just don't pay attention to all that, you don't pistol peep, you would not be able to tell what lens you're shooting with. Now let's talk about something that's very important to me and other people, and that's build quality. This thing is built like a tank. I know this from personal experience because on my first wedding, I dropped this lens, or maybe it was my other one, but my first Viltrox 85mm, I dropped that lens at the ceremony along with my X-T4 and it fell right on the glass. Nothing was wrong with it. No imperfections on the glass, no scratch, everything worked perfectly. And then I dropped it for a second time when I was at the Vegas airport or leaving the Vegas airport and it fell out of my sling bag. But just like the first time, no dents, no scratches, this thing is built like a tank with its all metal construction. And also what some people might care about is that it does have tank elements within this lens and it weigh about 492 grams. And as far as I know, there is no software hack for an f1.6 aperture. Now from September to October, I had about two weddings to shoot. I had a, a few portrait sessions to shoot, a family session. So I really put the Viltrox 85mm f1.8 through its paces. And I really enjoy having this lens and I'm not looking to get rid of it anytime soon. So again, sorry guys that I haven't made a lot of videos in the past few weeks. I've been very busy with my wedding film edits and my wedding photography edit and pretty much a lot of family sessions, portrait sessions. And as of recently, I was in the ER with a blood sugar over 500, which honestly, I felt like shit. So after I ate something, gave myself 10 units of Humalog and my relief got to my client house, I ran to the ER, not ran, but sorry, I actually drove to the ER. When I got there, my blood sugar already dropped down to like 268. Now, I still couldn't go home because I needed them to run blood work on me. 
because this blood work would have show if I was in DKA, which as a diabetic in type 1, DKA is pretty much saying that your blood is becoming acidic. Your body is turning against you. Now, I was blessed enough that that didn't happen, but it still took a toll on me that day and the day after. And you know, I recovered, but that's not something you want to go through because as a diabetic, when you go through stuff like that, especially DKA, it can always take a turn for the worse. I've seen it. I took care of people who were diabetic, who was younger than me. They were there at least every few months out the year, and it sucks. And as a diabetic, sometimes I deal with low blood sugars, which is why I ordered this. This is actually just a wristband, but it says type 1 diabetic, insulin dependent. And I also have like a little dog tag that say type 1 diabetic. Because if something was to happen to me in public, I would definitely need them to know that I'm type 1 so they can hurry up and treat me. I want them to check my blood sugar as the first attempt to see what's going on with me. Because that's important. Because if I don't have anything indicating that I'm diabetic, most likely they will not check until we get to the hospital. So sorry guys if this got a little personal. I was just being honest as to why I wasn't making videos in the last past few weeks. But also this is why I changed my name of the channel to Myron Hill because I want you guys to learn more about me. I don't want this channel to be strictly about photos and video, which it will be mainly, but you know, I still want you guys to learn more about me. But this is the whole reason why I changed the name of the channel to just my real name, because I want you guys to get to know me better. Am I doing that? I need to be a little bit more transparent as to what I like, what I don't like, and my condition, which as you know, because I just explained what happened, I am a type one diabetic. But thank you to everybody who checked out this video. And before you go, what I want you to do is smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Have a good day. Peace.